Hi guys, welcome to some class. So today I'll be teaching you how to set a trap for an anchor and how to get the exact location. So how to set a track, uh, a trap brother for an anchor that acts into your company email or your personal email address and how you can get the exact location. So first you need uh, two email addresses. One is your bait email address, that's your email address, your personal email address, your or your company email address. That you want to know if uh you want to set a trap for an ACA from. Then the other one is uh your receiving email address, that's where you'll be getting your notification from. So there is one important site that we also need to go know about. So that site is where we are going to be getting uh setting our bug. So that's station X dot net. So this is where you get your canary tokens. So from this, this station X is just like a cyber security company that helps you generate a bug that can use be used to track any hacker that is trying to hack into your system or that has even hacked into your email address. So let's get to work. So you click on start creating tokens. So when you click on that. It's going to ask you to put in your email address and your description so this is going so let's wait for it to come up so it's up now so you put in your email address i'll be putting your receiving email address that's the email address you put in your notification or you're getting your notification from so i will put in my own let me just put this as my receiving that's my gmail then you put in you enter a brief comment to remind you where you used this to be so i'll be you put in any thing that can be at that will let me know just a little sentence you can compose yours so here i'll be selecting dns http because i'm using a web browser i'm using a browser so i'll be using dns http i'm using a desktop so you click on generate token so can you see your canary token in this live then you come down and select ms word then you download click on click here click on the link to download i'll be using ms word because i want to edit and make sure that it is enticing enough for the hacker to click on that what you need for for the archive from the archive is just for the hacker to click on that link or to click on that email you want to uh, get so that the person is going to be uh follow the bit so i'll click here to download so that the press will take the page rather then here you can copy it for me for myself now i'll be uh pasting it to desktop sorry i'm downloading again you can put it anywhere because i'm using desktop so that it's going to be easier for us to access then you are going to rename it to uh and give it an enticing name so that everyone will always want to click on it so we give like maybe confidential passwords so anyone that sees this any hacker the first thing they'll be looking for is password how to get into confidential your your confidential documents so this is actually so um that is that so once you open this automatically you get a notification in your notification email so let me open this so and let's go to our gmail so let's just wait for it let's wait for it let me refresh so can you see you get you got an alert i also receive an alert on my phone as well that uh one of your canary dro drugs was triggered and so on so i'll be deleting this we don't need it yet so now we want to make it as enticing as possible so what, what i mean by that is that you want to put in some information that would also want the uh, person to see inside and see what is going on so i'm going to put this one that's your fake details i'm putting your maybe your credit card details your bitcoin ash anything that is fake don't put your original details there you put your fake password your staff admin or anything so i'll be copying this and i'll be pasting 
in that and i will see so once you attach this to you to the mail to the bit the mail bit and the employer uh, what's it called the acca opens this attachment automatically you get the location and the notification and that and everything you need but that's not all you can attach it and also make sure that you, it is in an email that is once that uh, that acca opens the email address or the sorry the email is going to automatically flag and give you a notification on your own end so let's go to compose on our gmail so i'll be pasting this here so my my bit email either your official or your personal or anywhere you want to set your bits so i'm putting it here then you give it an enticing subject i'll be using that confident share passwords documents then you can also attach your file so <clears throat> so this is attached already so anytime that uh when you when i send this automatically to this my email you will see that and uh, the archive clicks on that email and open the attachment. It will give you a notification. And that's not all. You can also make sure that you put that link, that thing, that hidden link here. You put it here so that anytime the person clicks on that email and open the email alone, it's going to flag and give you a notification. So we go back to our canary token. So instead of this DNS HTTP, you click on Browse Scanner. You can click on Generate if you like. So this Browse Scanner is going to give you a link. Okay, it's loading. Okay. So here you click on Web Box instead. This Web Box. Then you can see, you copy this link. That is what you want users to set it. Bits. Two ways. You can come, you can paste it in your um in your email like that they one that uh, once that uh aka clicks on it is going to automatically flag and give you a notification or you can make it hidden so that once that aka opens this email is going to get it's going to get caught so i can come here you click on that image attachment then you come to web url and you paste it here so can you see so instead of that you can just edit this last part that's the extension and put it maybe like image dot gif and you click uh, outside so that this will be highlighted so you can see you just click on the insert so can you see the this thing is not there can you see it's not there but automatically it is there and it is hidden then you click on send so can you say I got an alert just by clicking on that, uh, copying that email alone, that link rather. I got an alert, so I'm going to be deleting this. So let's go into our bit email. That's our office email, our company email, or personal email. Can you see? So you click on this. So once you click on this, automatically you are supposed to get a notification in your Gmail that someone has. Uh, act into your email address or your company in this uh, email or you click on display image before to see or maybe maybe the archive come down and click on this link any of them it will give you a notification that someone has attempt to uh, open your email address or someone is into your email address already can you see i got the alert so this is where we now start opening the email address and see what is there and see what we can do about it so let's open the email address so i've opened it here can you see you say one of your canary drops was triggered then he's saying that channel the person is in an http that's a browser it's telling you the time the person logged in that's into your account today's date even with timestamp and the exact time the person logged in then the ip address is there already can you see the ip address is there the type of 
browser the person is using the person is using chrome and so on okay so uh can you see the memo that's the password file open can you see so it's already there that is what we put in the memo so you can go ahead and click on i'll go here and click on this link so it's going to open the link so can you see so you can expand so can you see it's still that so it has the ip address also can expand this as well but i'll be using one of them because i'm using the same uh this thing okay so i'm going to be copying the ip address then you can go to your chrome or your google and type uh who is a piece ip address and press enter so can you see so what is my ip life so you click on this can you see automatically show you that the ip location is nigeria and the network the person is using is mtn nigeria that's mtn so you click on that and it's opening so then you can you see it open so you come down so can you see everything you need there you see the person is the city of lagos nigeria can you see the country is nigeria that's region lagos so the organization ip that's the internet browser the person is using so can you see everything you need time zone nigeria calling code this is actually telling you that it's a nigerian phone number so the currency can you see everything you need to know about that has been uh has been given to you so you can go ahead and uh, go forward and copy the longitude and latitude this will show you the exact location of on that person you paste it on on google but i won't be doing that because it's going to be displaying your but uh you can also copy this and paste on your this and i'm going to show you wherever that person is the real location the real address so i believe you enjoy this class if you enjoy it please make sure you thumbs up uh, make sure you like you subscribe to my channel uh put in your questions and everything you need to know and i'll always be sure i respond as soon as possible thank you and see you in next class